I was actually a software engineer for several years, and at some point I decided that I wanted to change careers. So I went back to graduate school to study chemistry, which was completely different. And when I did that, I, I started to realize how difficult learning can become if you're coming from a different background. So I started to actually really think about that very seriously in, in my graduate student instruction. So, you know, how, how can I make concepts as clear as possible and how can I make them reach people sort of no matter what they care about in, in their own lives. And that's, that's something that's been really important for me here at Purdue also in my teaching. Purdue is very serious about making the college education experience meaningful starting from the very beginning. And I, and I think one of the things that's true at, at a lot of the, the large institutions is that you can get a, a really great value education, you know, but, but then you are sitting in, in large lecture classes in the first year. And, and so I think one of the things that Princeton's chemistry has focused on a lot is how do you make that large lecture experience interesting and meaningful and could it be inspiring and, you know, could you be learning from the people around you as well as from the person at the front of the classroom? Um, and I think, you know, that actually speaks to one of the other things that's important about being here is that the people you're surrounded with on a day-to-day -day basis are just fantastic. I mean, all, all the students I interact with are amazing and, and that's, I think that's one of the best reasons also to be at a, a particular college. I love the challenge of convincing all the students in my classroom that chemistry is really important. Like, no matter what it is that they're going to go on and do, that it's, it's having real impact in their lives today and that it will have real impacts on all of the problems that they choose to solve. My hope is that students learn from this how to find interest in topics that are in broader circles around the, the main thing that they're studying. You know, some of them have said that they came into the class really not expecting to like it, not caring, and that in some cases it, it helped them reconnect or to connect for the first time. I, I love hearing about that. That's, that's nice to, to hear somebody go from, I, I don't care, I don't get it, you know, why, why am I even here, to, wow, that's, that's actually pretty cool. What I hope that they'll take forward from the class is that when they see something new and complicated that they don't understand, that they'll start to try to chip away at it using ideas that they've learned before. And I think something that's really important about that is it makes life much less scary. So when you, when you see something new that's not threatening, it's something you might be able to understand. And if not, then you could teach yourself something so you could understand it.